This has become quite a place, hasn't it? Has everyone evacuated crossing the Blade Drifts? I think they escaped to Tolbekia, around Torum. Maybe the ships are back in service now. Anyone would think of running away under a sky like this. Okay, I'm gonna go shopping. Can I join you? Uh, yes. You all wait up at the inn. Okay. Traveling under a sky like this? We're short of customers now, so you are really welcome. Looks like the Teagles got away too. Even with the road through Emmet Hill open, I'm still worried. I love port towns. They always have stuff. Even in times like this. Looks like things just might work. What did you buy? One of each formula crest and container parts. What are you trying to do? I'm making a device that will converge the spirit's powers. A kind of makeshift Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos? I wonder what Duke is doing now. I don't know, but he seems totally obsessed. Huh. <sighs> Patty, what is it? Huh? I'm famished. Want me to make you something? I do appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I'd blow up like a puffer fish if I ate now. Sleeping is the best way to distract oneself from an empty tummy, so good night. They say kids need sleep to grow up, but I doubt Patty's growing up anytime soon. Rita's gonna need a bit more time, too. We should catch some shut eye while we can. Yes, good idea. Yuri, please wake up. I'm up, I'm up. Was that Patty just now? I'm worried about her, running off by herself in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it kind of seemed like there was something weighing on her. Maybe she was thinking about Eifried. Judith! I didn't realize you were awake. Now that you bring it up, she hasn't said a peep about Eifried lately. Rita, you're up too? And so is this old man. I'm going to check on her. I'll be right back. I'll come with you. It's too dangerous to go wandering around alone. It's still pretty risky, just the two of you, Judith, darling. Allow me. I'll escort you. I'm going too. Well, I guess if everyone's going... What's the matter? Hey, sleepyhead, we're going out for a bit. You sit tight and hold the fort. Huh? Where are you going? Don't just leave me here! I guess even the twerp wants to tag along. Alright, then we'll all go and take a quick peek.
That's... Come on. Patty, please wait. What are you all doing here? We could ask you the same question. Why the solo trip out here, hmm? We've gathered the spirits and are about to embark on a life-or-death mission. I just wanted to settle my own affairs before that. Are you talking about Eifried? This is my problem and mine alone. No one else should have to bear the burden. You say that, but there's really no reason you should go alone. <sighs> hey, that's the Atherum. What is it doing here? Did you call it here, Patty? I thought I saw you holding up the Maristella. So the Maristella is a device that summons that ship. It's reaching out for its other half. Meaning its other half is on that ship? But the Maristella is... Huh? Does this have anything to do with that problem you mentioned? I... Then let's go. Huh? What are you waiting for? You're going to come with me? You know there's no way we'd let you go by yourself. My thanks, but I will be the one to settle what needs settling. You got it. The boat's over there. Time to embark. Hey, does that mean that Eifried is on that ship? Who knows? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. these little times together. You're finished. That was so easy. So you were looking for that treasure that I freed had hidden, right, Patty? So you could meet him and get your memories back. I... And then you ended up finding the Maristella, right? Well, yes and no. The treasure Eifried was searching for was the Maristella. What? So you were both after the exact same thing? Then will you be able to find him now? If I use the Maristella, I'll find him without a doubt. Then that means Eifried must be on this ship. Well, you see... What the heck? Up there. We've defeated that monster here before, haven't we? Patty! Is that Eifried? That? It can't be, but... Whoever it is, we gotta go. Yes. I believe there was a ladder in the captain's quarters. I'm pretty sure Cypher was one of Eifried's officers. Patty! Looks like we don't have time to chit-chat. Cypher, we're settling this here and now. Creature? What? 
Do you know him, Patty? But it's time to start cleaning up! Cypher, I will set you free now! Get some information. Hey, I'm getting pretty good. That's the logical outcome. I'm sorry I made you wait for so long. I lost my memories, and it took me a while, but I finally made it back. I knew it. She's regained her memories. I freed... 
That's... I freed it is you. Been a while. Why is he calling her I freed? Wait a second. I freed is... me. W what are you talking about? Cypher, you recognize me? Yes. But you must leave this place before I lose myself and turn on you once more. I will not! I came here to release you from that monstrous form and from the Black Hope's fate. That day I turned my hand against many. Committed a great sin. Is he talking about the Black Hope massacre? They would have only suffered more if you hadn't. Like the way you're suffering now. That accident turned them all into monsters, and you saved them! And yet the one who killed them lives freely in this form. You saved me. You let me escape. This time, it's my turn to save you, Cypher. I freed. You'd release me from this agony. You've done so much for me, protecting those scallywags in Siren's Harbor, and you've always supported me. But... and now... it ends. <laughs> Patty... Cypher, you're the only one I... I am sorry to make you suffer so, Ifrit. I'm far from the only one who suffered. You've been through so much worse, Cypher. You're my friend, so I'll shoulder your pain too. And to free you from your misery, I will kill you. Those people. They are the ones helping you through this. Good. Even without your memories, you are not alone. You are not in pain. That was all I was worried about. You've made some wonderful friends, Ifrit. Here, take this. The Maris Gemma. Now I can die in peace. Go on. Do it. Bye-bye. Cypher. It's okay to cry if you want to cry, you know. No matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. That's my motto. Patty. I won't cry. Shedding tears is no way to pay my respects to the dear friends I've lost. I am Ifrid, boss of Siren's Fang. So I... I will not cry. I will never cry. I don't want to cry! Miss Crybaby. So, feeling any better after that nice long cry? Uh, I'm perfectly fine. Good. So, now what are you planning on doing? Yeah, now that you got your memories back and you saw what you wanted to see. It's obvious, isn't it? I'm sticking with you guys. Are you sure that's what you want? I. It's not like I'd just abandon you to fight the Autofagos without me. Besides, I've come this far. 
I want to see it through till the very end. Well, we're glad to have you, Patty. <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Um, there's a lot that I've been wanting to ask, but don't know how. Well, I know we're all dying of curiosity, but you tell us when you're ready. I, I'll tell you everything when the time is right. But... What? Judy, what happened? Wait, that's where Ospio is. What's going on? What happened to Ospio? What the hell is that thing? It looks like... a mountain? Belay that, a building. Tarkaron. Huh? The spirits are telling me that's the Tower of Tarkaron. Duke, it's gotta be him. He's going to try to use that against the Autophagos. Please, let me through! You, with the long black hair! Do you have a moment? What do you want? Some people with the Knights wanted me to tell them if I saw someone with your appearance. They said they wanted to talk to you about Flynn, the new Commandant of the Imperial Knights. What? I believe you are the right person. Yeah. Hey, was it a girl with kind of cat-looking eyes and a kid with a head like an apple? Huh? Oh, yes, I suppose so. <sighs> so can I wait at the inn? Yes, that's fine. I'll call them. We finally got you! Where have you been wandering around? Yuri... Lowell... <sighs> Sodia? So what's up with Flynn? Oh, right. Many people have fled this continent since that monster covered the sky. But some opposed using a guild fleet to protect the Empire. Flynn could not abide that. A fleet attacked by monsters landed on Hypionia. We fought, but they kept gaining. We alone were sent for aid. But all the knights are spread all over the world. We have no other choice but to ask for your help. But we're too late. Commander Flynn must be... 
Wow, could you be any more worthless? What did you say? You give up already? Everything you've done, what was it all for? I... I did it all for Commander Flynn. Even that one time. Huh. <laughs> you talk about doing it all for Flynn, but you're just whining. You gave up. You forgot your resolve. Resolve? Yo, Applehead. You said hi, Peonia, right? Y yeah All right, I'll be back soon. All of you get ready to go to Tarkaron. I'm going to. Yeah, me too. You keep forgetting us. I'm glad you want to come, but this seems pretty bad. That's even more reason not to let you go alone. I don't think Baul will listen to you either. All for the guild and the guild for all, right? Well, if we're out of time, let's go and get it over with. I will follow you to the day I die, and with more moxie than a snapping moray eel. Okay, okay, so let's get going. Yeah! Brave Vesperia, charge! <laughs> Go get him! All right, Sodia. Let's reform the support units. Oh, okay. Yuri Lowell. Yuri Lowell! Why? Why didn't you call me out for my actions that time? I... I tried to kill you! Oh, I'm not letting it go. But I don't have time to deal with someone who gave up on everything. I haven't given up. No? So why haven't you gone to help Flynn, even alone? You wanted to protect him so badly you'd kill me! Why won't you protect him now? I... I can't protect him by myself. Please, save him. Please. You don't have to tell me to do that. Please. You know, there's one thing I agree with you on. Hmm? I'm a criminal. I can be killed anytime. Flynn is the perfect knight. A perfect leader. He doesn't need a criminal by his side. Uh. I'm just standing in until the right person comes along. Yuri. Flynn always seems to put himself in danger. He's always that way. He doesn't mind getting hurt if it means protecting others. Yeah, he gets a little crazy sometimes. Like you're any different. Birds of a feather, right? I'd say we're all like that. Like what? We all stuck with brave Vesperia, even when the going got rough. <laughs> I guess none of us can just let things go. Right, so we can't just let Flynn go either. Yeah, exactly. Well, since we can't let it go, I think it's time we get a little crazy. I was pretty stunned. In fact, I'm not sure if I buy it at all. How can you be the famous Eifried? There's not a lot we know about Eifried, but I was certain he was a man. Cypher is the one who dealt with people outside of the Siren's Fang, so lots of folks believed he was Eifried. Um, do you plan to tell the world the truth about the Black Hope Massacre? A tale that's infamous won't vanish overnight. Besides... Besides what? As long as you all know the truth, that's enough to satisfy me. Then we're the bearers of Eifried's story. A serious duty. But it does bind us together as friends. <laughs> I don't mind a burden like that. <sighs> well, I guess if I have to... Hmm? Let an old man join in the fun. <clears throat> May our relationship continue to blossom. Thanks! You're all too sweet, Cypher. Finally met a crew that I can trust like I trusted you.
So anyway, what is the Maristella? And what was it called, the Maris Gemma? They are the great pirate symbols. When they are united, they'll open the gates to paradise. Paradise? paradise? Wow, like really? Rubbish. Hmm. Ugh. That's you really imagination. are an airhead. Hmm. There are dozens of tales of paradise from all ages and all over the world, and none of them are true. But adventurers are people who turn legends into reality, right? So what's this paradise like? Who knows? Where is it located? Don't know. Is there anything you do know? Mystery is part of the romance. It's like your magical research, Rita. My research gives clear-cut answers. Don't compare it to your fairy tales. Patty, it's useless trying to explain it to someone like Rita. 